Uh, I'm in a kind of a precarious situation. I'm on the back side of my dam. That is the top of my dam. Sloping behind it where I've got that creek that runs through here. I've got an old stump that um, needs to come out of here uh, just to clean things up. I've got some other trash and stuff that need to come in here with a grapple. But I, I can't get in here with a grapple because this creek, if I come down here with a tractor, try to snatch it with a grapple, then I'm going to get stuck here in the creek. Uh, I couldn't get it from the dam because it's just too steep there. I'd probably never be able to back up. And even if I would, well, I'd probably never be able to back up. Even in four wheel drive. Uh, I came through here thinking I could snatch it from this side and that's just, that scares me a little bit. You got that, that hole there and my tire was right on the edge of it. it kind of scared me. So here's what I did. And I've done this before with success. Just in fact, just a while ago, I'll show you. Um, I brought my Ryobi cordless impact wrench down here, drove a lag bolt in it, that's about a four incher I guess, hooked the chain on it, hooked the chain on my tractor, and if I can just get it down in the creek, I can probably pick it up with my grapple, but I'll, prob I'll try to drag it up the hill there, get it out of this creek bed. Anyway, but that's just one way, when you have something that you need to get out of somewhere that's uh, a little precarious, uh, just a good way to do it. So um, I do not do not have the tripod down here, so I'll have to do kind of a reverse shot on the tractor and let you watch that. But here we go, we'll try to get it out. Another thing I did uh, a year or two ago was to weld a ball on top of my box blade. That's a five, six foot box blade. Welded the ball on it just real handy for things like this or for going and scooping up a trailer if it's too muddy to get in there with a truck then I can pick it up with a tractor now that works out pretty cool you may want to do that okay that's not gonna be a great shot but it is what it is pick up the box blade a little bit and try to frame it try to get you in frame here there you go without me being in frame in the ditch. Let's see if I can pull it out of the ditch without tearing it up. It's pretty rock. There it is. Now I can just pull it out of here. And uh, I think I will. Just go ahead and pull it. But at this point, With a grapple, I can turn around and grab it with a grapple. But I'll show you one other thing I did a while ago that uh, was for something that was really heavy and in a real mushy area. There it is. It's just going to follow me home if I drag it. I'm going to pick it up and go throw it in the burn pile. Take the bolt out of it. Don't ever leave nut, nails or bolts or screws and anything you're going to burn, you're going to find them later with the tractor tire. But I'll uh, undo it with the uh, Ryobi and then put it in a burn pile. I really like this Ryobi. Take it wherever you want to go and don't make a little noise, but you can handle that, can't you? Not easy to do this with two hands. I mean, with one hand. Bent the bolt pretty good. But I got her out, so I'll pick it up and uh, <laughs> I broke a bolt off a while ago, one that was real heavy. I'll just go show you that in just a second. But anyway, I'll pick this up and go throw it in a burn pile. This 
handy, handy too. Big old, big old stop. We're going to burn pile now. So there's another one I just put in uh, a burn pile. This burn pile has been here for five years, maybe longer. Um, some of the first clearing I did back in the back. And you ask, well, why is it still here? Well, it's because it's bodark. Most of it is bodark, which is uh, yellow wood. I think the Indians called it ironwood. Uh, very, very, well, it just won't rot. It just, it's very hard wood. It uh, is hard on your chainsaws. That is a bodark right there. Uh, it's also called a horse apple, the green apple looking things uh, that's a bodark tree anyway that's why this hasn't uh, rotted down and mulched down in five years is because most of that's bodark and it will it'll it, it would be there a hundred years probably it just won't rot so what I did was was obviously with the grapple grab it put it in here but I had tried to do it from the other side and it was real real mushy there's my pond and my pond backs up uh, when it's full it backs up into here all this is that's what we call that water grass that uh, indicates that uh, that that area is uh, underwater a lot so anyway uh, I'll show you I'll go around the backside and show you what I did and uh, how I pulled it out of there so the big tree was standing about right there eh, right there and the uh, where that pile of sawdust is or mulch is the uh, mulcher took it down one of the trees I showed you in the mulching video and then I was uh, going to bring it over here and pile it in there, and I got stuck about right there, and I had to drop the, I had to drop the big log right there. So I did the same thing: brought the Ryobi down here, put a bolt in it, chain on it, drug it, drug it till about right there, and then the bolt broke off in it, and uh, and then so, but I came in; it's dry enough because of the grass holding the sod together, it's dry enough here. So I just came in from the side, picked it up, and then put it over here in this burn pile. Anyway, that's just a good way to do stuff. Uh, if it's, especially if it's, if you need to drag something, uh, or if something's in a pre precarious place, get you uh, get you enough chain together, straps together, something like that, to, to drag it to where you can get to it uh, by other conventional means. Uh, again, that's my pond. This all, this is kind of where the creek runs into the pond, and this is all stays wet, uh, much wetter than the rest of it. So I had a problem right there. I almost got that, <laughs> got big Kubota stuck. I had to put my, it wouldn't back up. I was stuck. I let go of the log. Then I, what you have to do is when you want to go backwards, put your, uh, if you've got a bucket on it or whatever you got on it, put it down in the ground and then as you drive back, tilt the bucket. Tilt it back, 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 and get yourself out of there. That's what I had to do. It worked. All right, that's how to move stuff. Hard to get to stuff. All right. We're not stuck no more, but we are gone.